everyone so it is February oh, February it's Friday October 15th and I want to record all these videos all over again because if I'm honest I finally got them uploaded to my computer and I didn't realize what a mess I made for myself with all the videos I, requ I recorded prior to that and then afterwards and I found the first video that I've been talking about posting, I watched a couple minutes of it and I wasn't really satisfied so I just decided I would record everything again and at this point like I'm just going to release them, I'm not even going to go over them, I'm not going to watch them because I feel like if I get stuck in this mindset of just nitpicking myself then the message isn't ever going to come out, right? Like, it's just, it's more valuable to just tell you guys in a way that I'm able to do it and then let you guys decipher it in a way that makes sense for you all because, you know, it really is about the message. It's not necessarily about me. And as long as I continue to work on this, then hopefully the right message will get to the right person at the right time is kind of how I feel about that. So, um, and it's also better for me because I feel like constantly recording or re-recording this stuff is starting to mess with my confidence a little bit. And I don't, I don't want that to reflect to you guys in any way and I don't want it to interfere with the message and that's why I even wrote on here um just to point out to you guys like energy is energy which yeah okay obviously <laughs> but the what I mean by that is like you know it it doesn't energetically it doesn't matter for instance like if I if I'm being nitpicky about myself that's still energetically getting released, right? Like that's still affecting everyone in some way, shape, or form. It doesn't matter that I'm nice to other people and I don't nitpick other people, right? Like energy doesn't decipher between who it is that it's it's hurting. So it's really just better to be kind even to yourself, which is easier said than done sometimes for me, but I don't know, I just wanted to point that out. Maybe maybe that'll help someone today who might be <laughs> feeling paralyzed by their their own mind as well. So um, I broke it up into several sections of how I want to do these upcoming videos. And I have it noted here to check the pre-recordings because I've said a lot. And, you know, maybe if it's relevant for me to just insert those videos um, throughout, then I will do that, but I'll be, I'll be sure to add something in there so it makes sense to you guys. So, what I have for the first video, like right now, I want to talk about taking accountability with semantics, since I feel like I've been slipping up there a little bit with a couple things I wanted to clarify. And then the next videos I want to talk about Atlantis, I want to talk about the Bible specifically, I want to talk about USA specifically, stuff like that, sigil magic, I don't know if I said that. Um, and then lastly I want to talk about some of what's to come in the future if we can truly change um, what we, a lot of us see in the future. And I have the teachings of Easy e because those are the unreleased videos and I'm going to try and find those. Those I have not found in their entirety. The videos are actually like all jumbled up because my, it doesn't have the date. Like my uh, camera doesn't have the date so if I turn it off and restart it just, it gets like all mixed up. So I have to actually go through each and every one unless I use like a different memory card. But anyway. So all of that ties into the global predictions reading and it also ties into like my personal readings like for myself. Um, I put prophecies as a child because ever since I was a child I would get this, this similar message over and over and over again. It comes up in celebrity readings, um, private readings that I've done. So like public celebrity readings and then private readings that I do. 
um, off camera for other people and it's it's been something that I've been grappling with for a long time because I was kind of concerned since it is something that I've felt like I've known since I was a kid that this was like almost like adhering to some sort of narrative that I created in my mind like that that's a valid concern I feel because you just never really know sometimes but um I just really feel called to talk about this and to to bring it up because it seems like it's it's coming the time's coming and we have to I don't know I just feel like it's the right thing to do to at least say it and just to preface this again for you guys um just a big disclaimer out there you know I'm gonna state things as if they're fact and you know you just have to do your own due diligence look into it if you can or if you want to um, you probably know a lot more than I do about certain subjects so wherever it makes sense um, to understand what symbols I'm seeing because sometimes it's difficult for me to even decipher if I'm seeing a symbol or if I'm seeing reality of what's going on in the spiritual world normally I can decipher but it, sometimes it gets really difficult or I think that I know and then I end up being <laughs> shown that um, I don't I don't know everything <laughs> so um, this is like a blend of my own intuition this is a blend of things that have been told to me spiritually these are my theories as well so this is it's all of that mixed together so this is really just a tool for you guys to decide for yourself on what's going on this don't take everything that I say at face value um, I would rather you guys not do that if I'm honest like as a person I don't like to be questioned <laughs> like I really don't like I like to be like a know-it-all and very just obnoxious with that like to be completely honest with you guys but in reality like I am very much aware that that's not the right thing to do and I don't like once again like I, I get shown very quickly that I don't know everything um and I, when it comes to spirituality specifically, I don't ever want it to be like that. I don't ever want to just, like some things which we'll get into, yeah, for sure. Like the truth is the truth, like our creation, like some things I, I stand by very firmly. Um, soulmates and things which I did not write on here. So that's something we should probably uh, get into sometime. But uh, that stuff I will absolutely when you like some things like when you know you know right um but i mean i'm clear about it i th i feel like i'm pretty clear about where i'm like firm and i don't budge on but anyway not to get on too much of a long tangent about that so let's start here with semantics and accountability so i've noticed this in my celebrity readings and actually in some of my private readings as well where I'm I'm slipping up pretty majorly with that because um, honestly like when I started the channel I was like oh it really doesn't matter right like yeah I want to work on my vernacular um, I want to be a little bit more clear about the things that I'm saying but it's the overall message of these celebrity readings that's important it's not necessarily the specifics you know and everything I say in the description box of the celebrity readings but now that things have been changing a little bit with my readings and things are coming up I feel like no I, I really need to be more responsible with what I'm saying it, it does matter and um, I just I don't want to steer you guys wrong like obviously I don't um, and I want to be responsible for like what I see and what am I trying to say I guess I guess I'm what I'm trying to say there because it sounds like I don't know how how it's coming across but yes I want to be accountable for the things that I say and to not steer you guys incorrectly with the things that I'm saying but also spiritually I don't want to do that as well I'm very responsible 
when it comes to connecting to the other side. I do that like, what am I? <sighs> I you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, I just I guess I'm getting caught up on words now. But anyway, so let's talk about aliens and multidimensional and interdimensional, intergalactic, all of these things that I've I've been interchanging. Okay, I've been interchanging them and the reason I've been doing that is because symbolically it comes across different ways and I just again I just get caught up in like oh doesn't matter let's just get the overall message so let's clear this up once and for all all right and from here on out I'm gonna be I'm gonna try and be as careful as possible um, with the way that I present this information to you guys okay so hmm so I've talked about gray aliens before. We'll put them over here if you guys can see. So we'll talk about the grays. And I've, I've talked about psychopathic aliens as well. The psychopathic. And they symbolically, symbolically what I see sometimes is like for the psychopathics is kind of like coarse hair, like coarse, like a bear. Um, they're tall like a bear. I don't know how tall bears are, maybe like eight feet possibly. So I see like almost seven feet to eight feet, maybe nine, um, something like that. Tall, um, sharp teeth. Sometimes I see them, you know, I have a card. This is exactly, it's at the top of the deck, of course. This is exactly how I see them um, sometimes. When I got this deck, actually, I was shocked to see this represented here. And I was actually kind of disturbed by it because of how they represented this particular card and if I'm completely completely transparent with you guys um, there are people that I know that work with demonic entities which I absolutely don't agree with and so we don't ever see eye to eye on things like that um, and this is you know uh, this is really a, this is a sometimes how I know, <laughs> um, like verified, like in the physical form of how I know. Like I'll already know, like I can already see it, but in order for it to come through physically without like, you know, anything else, um, if I'm just using tarot, then this will always come out, which is really interesting. But yeah, so for those of you who can't see, it's like scaly but kind of smooth like it's smooth scaly almost like a um what are those cutie things like a komodo dragon um or a, maybe not i don't know if yeah kind of like them i was gonna say a bearded dragon but i think i'm thinking a komodo dragon like the bigger ones and yeah nails like long nails that's what I see too, because bears have those like long, thick nails. Okay, so that's what I see symbolically. And I don't know if that's only a symbolism or if that's an accurate representation somewhere else, like how that comes across, right? Um, however, when I refer to it as like someone who doesn't have a soul, when it comes to like when it comes to demons or it comes to like evil, you know, like just everything in between of like what's bad, you know, or like a bad soul, I guess, or like what it is, is it's not bad. They're just unhealed, like unhealed souls. Like they, like that's exactly it. They still have souls and demons still have souls. Most of them do. Um, 
And so, like, they exist. <laughs> like, they're real. Um, and then you can say it the opposite way, right? Like, angels and people who've crossed over, who are very kind and more healed, they're, they have souls as well. And they come across, like I said, as, like, grays, gray aliens sometimes. And I've also seen them as, like, feathery, like, light feathery, soft, kind of like tingly, like it makes my heart tingle. That's how it feels um, whenever I think about them. And it makes, it's, it's that feeling, like that fluttering feeling, like when you see someone that you're, like you have feelings for, and it's like for the first time that you see them, or it's like you haven't, you didn't expect to see them. And then like that millisecond of like realizing that's who they are and you get that like excited fluttery feeling inside of you that's how it feels sometimes a lot of times actually that's the of the gray aliens um and everything in between has a soul right but when i say it doesn't then i'm referring to something completely different I'm com completely different and that's where I was messing up with you guys is because I'd be like oh but it doesn't have a soul I don't know whatever and I would just kind of skip over it well what I'm referring to is because when I see a gray alien for example without a soul then that's just a symbol for me that's a symbol for me for the collective consciousness because the consciousness the collect so the collective consciousness of the souls pure good i'll do pure good collective consciousness pure good and that's the closest you can get to creation is the, is the gray the sim symbol for gray aliens that i see um, which, again, I don't know if gray aliens actually exist or if that's just some Hollywood figment, you know, of my imagination. That's why I created that in my mind. I don't know. I've never seen an alien in real life, which I have right here on my alien experience, experience that I'll talk about. Um, but I've never seen one. I've never been shown one. I've never asked. I've never asked, like, what do aliens look like or anything like that so I, I genuinely do not know but that's how it's symbolically represented to me okay so if they don't have a soul um, then what I need to start saying instead of telling you what the symbol is is to say it's the collective consciousness pure good because our soul's consciousness is not a soul right it's just the intentions of our minds. It's just the creations of our minds. It's just the feelings of our minds. It's the energy of our minds um, or whatever. So that's what that is. And then whenever I see like the psychopathic, which I've said before, without a soul, um, that's a collective consciousness, pure bad. And that's the furthest you could get from creation. Okay, and I actually want to talk about another symbol that I see for both of these, which I've said is like white. It's like very, very light and white light. Like I would describe it as whatever Hollywood heavenly is, right? Where it's just this bright beam. And that's what I see. And I think that the colors do have something to do with it, but I don't know what. It's, again, not anything that I've ever looked into. I just accept that for what that is. And the 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 pure bad is like dark black, but it's like, I don't even know if it's black. It's almost like a really, really dark blue, almost like just into the abyss. <laughs> I have no idea. Like it's really, really dark. And it feels absorbing like it feels absorbing this feels reflective yeah, that's how it feels this feels like very close to you it feels like you're surrounded by this like warm light source this energy and everything pure pure good is reflecting back onto you like 
the most beautiful, radiant feeling is being reflected when I see that. Here, symbolically, another thing that I see other than being absorbed, and it feels like loss. Like, you feel like you're just, like, tumbling away. Not even tumbling. It's just being, like, absorbed, like, sucked away. Like, far, 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 far away in this empty world. This empty galaxy. I don't know. It just feels so empty. And then there's a mirror. It's just a mirror. And the reason why I think I see a mirror is because it's a reflection of you. It's a reflection of your soul. Um, pure evil, pure bad cannot create. It can only copy, right? Because creation by nature is godly. It's heavenly. And so evil can, like, just like a real reflection, a reflection is not you. It's just a copy of you. So I think that's why I see that. Um, another thing that I wanted to point out that I've interchanged. So, okay, let's, let's review all of what I just said. Okay. And then we'll get on to the other thing that I've kind of interchanged a lot. If you go back to any of my videos and I talked about aliens, um, if you just really like listen, I guess, to those videos, um, and see kind of now knowing this, um, maybe that'll give you a bigger picture of what I was saying in those other videos, um, like a little bit more clear for you guys. So yeah. The other thing is I've probably, I'm not sure if I have, but I've talked about multidimensional, um, I've talked about intergalactic, but I've, I, I've, I've, I know I have, but I don't know if I've interchanged it. So I just wanted to be clear about that as well. So, um, we are multidimensional beings, meaning that our soul is having multiple experiences simultaneously. So right now you're experiencing multiple lifetimes um, or multiple experiences in other dimensions in different ways. It resonates in different ways. And um, it all trickles down into this life, into this earth. So whatever is happening in other dimensions is reflected here in the physical world. Um, so yeah, and intergalactic is that there are different galaxies. There are definitely different galaxies. However, that's more of like, the way I see it is like, that's still a reality that exists present day, right? Like whatever's happening now is happening on Saturn. Whatever's happening on Saturn is happening in some other galaxy somewhere else. So it's like worlds within worlds within worlds within worlds, right? So I'll just kind of explain it visually, I guess. So we have like Earth, right? Which I mean, I, I know, I'm sure you guys, but anyway, so here's Earth, like I'll just say world. Here's Earth and then here's our solar system and like the planets and inter interplanetary, right? <laughs> That's our galaxy right here. And I actually see a significance to, it's like five to seven. I normally say five, but I feel like it goes up to seven because there's two that are not as significant or they're like further connected somehow of different galaxies that are closely connected to this galaxy that are like, you know, it feels like they're like being traveled through. Um... I'll have to, I'll probably, that's one of the ones I'll have to probably check the pre-recording. So some of this might be repetitive information. I think in that video I talked about five galaxies, um, or like four to five. But it really, honestly, like when I really psychically look at it, if it's mo way more, like it goes seven, nine, <laughs> it goes like more, more, more. Um, but it doesn't go into infinity. That's not infinity. Like the, the number of galaxies is not infinity um, by any means. There's just, it's not. But it would be like one, two, three, four, 
we'll do like five or however I decide we're in the other video. But then it's like, when I say seven, it's like seven. You know, it's like connected. Like, you have to go from one galaxy to the next galaxy to the next galaxy. I don't know. It's very interesting. But anyway, so what I'm trying to explain is like, we are both multidimensional and intergalactic souls. So just as there's souls existing on earth, there's souls existing in spirit, right? Like people who've passed on and haven't reincarnated anywhere else. Like they're doing whatever they need to do in the spiritual realm. Um, then we have other planets within our solar system. Those have souls, like those actual aliens, um, as we are aliens to them, but they they have souls and then if we go into another galaxy those have souls as well and it's the same thing here where there's still spirits and everything so that's another just words that I may have mixed up and I'll I'll try and be more clear whenever I refer to whether I'm talking multidimensionally or intergalactically um you know and there are people, I feel, I don't know, I think I'm going to get ahead of myself with that, but basically, like, when I talk about, like, interdimensional, where you can spiritually, like, cross through and connect to, like, different dimensions of the souls, and you can also connect to different galaxies um, through traveling the soul you have to you have to travel it's like a soul traveler honestly you have to travel the soul in order to get to the other galaxies as a human I don't know about other beings I'd have to ask I don't want to ask right now because it'll just make my brain go crazy so um hmm what else do I want to talk about with that there was something else that I wanted to mention but I forgot Maybe I'll write it down here. I need to talk about like God. Maybe for the next video. God to creation. Well I guess that kind of goes into the world. Alright so. I feel like there was something about aliens. That I wanted to talk about. That I didn't really get into. Um, I should probably talk about like angels and stuff too. Here on the next video. So. Let's just talk. Let's just. <laughs> end here because I've probably been talking enough now with like my alien experience and sleep paralysis demon experience oh let me let me talk about this first and then I'll get into that is like with psychics that's why it's so dangerous and why I at the very beginning when I was tripping on my words because I was trying to think of how to clearly <laughs> explain to you guys but it's really important because different psychics work in different ways and even when people are just saying they're energy reading, you know, like, oh, tarot is just energy reading or whatever, or whatever. That's not necessarily true because once you get spiritually, like, you're always communicating with someone. Like, there's someone always communicating with you. And again, like, not to scare you guys, but like, there are attachments. Like, the more spiritual you get, the more things try and attach to you. And even just like being any kind of like negative way there are spiritual attachments that are trying to get to you it's just the reality of it honestly and um psychics it's really important to have that discernment and to figure out what exactly you're doing and who you're communicating with because as i said like evil Evil is a, is a copy. It's a copy. That's all that is. And so, um, okay, let's, <laughs> sorry, I'm thinking. Um, let me, let me, let me take like two, a two second break really quick. I'm going to drink some of my coffee right here. And then I need to go on another tangent and then we'll talk about this. <laughs> 
Okay. <laughs> it was really probably only two seconds. Um, it's probably more like four seconds. But anyway. So. Whew. When a psychic connects to the spiritual world, right? We're called mediums because we're just the communicators, right? We're like um, the translators of the spiritual world. We're the, the middle ground, the medium of earth, like grounded, and then the spiritual world. But as you see now, there's worlds within worlds within worlds and dimensions within dimensions and so how do you know who the heck you're talking to if you're just kind of jumping in there all willy-nilly <laughs> right so it's really important to take things I mean I don't know it's, it's kind of like hard for me to say because who am I to say like I don't obviously know for sure um, I can only talk about my personal experience, I guess, um, but it does feel like a really deep warning, and so that's why I say it that way, is because I just, I really feel strongly and passionately about this, because I don't want anyone to, like, get hurt, I guess, because this is, <sighs> I mean, you'll see when I get into everything why I'm this way, I guess, um, but it's like, when you when you go into the spiritual world who are you communicating with are you communicating with an alien like actually aliens are you um communicating with like are you connecting to someone's consciousness um and on what level and what dimension and um are you are you going into another galaxy I didn't even talk, like I said, of angels and demons and everything in between. Because that's, that, angels and demons to me, that's also the same thing that I fall under line with, like, um, just kind of classifying through energetically. Are you high vibrational, low vibrational? And how much of it? Or are you connecting to the pure consciousness of good? Are you connecting to the pure consciousness of bad? Like, where are you connecting? Um, then, of course, we never really mention God, the creator, the spirit. Are you connecting with your guardian angels? Which I didn't write here on any of this either. Eventually, all this will come out. <laughs> but, um, yeah, and honestly, like, with the pure consciousness, it's just a feedback loop, right? That's what I see is, like, it's a feedback loop on both of both good and bad so and and when I talk about it being a reflection they shape shift they shape shift so they will give you half truths they will give you like sometimes even 90% truth they can they you don't always come across as being like these frightening entities like they will come across as someone innocent or kind or someone that you recognize or someone that's helpful so that's why you have to use your discernment. That's why you have to be practiced in understanding what's going on. You have to know thyself. <laughs> you have to know yourself. You have to know yourself in and out because um, they study you and they, with this consciousness, pure consciousness, they are, they know, they know you, know you and everything about you. Sometimes it's not more than you know yourself, but in this life, um, and with all the distractions that we have in this life and all the confusion and backwardness that we have, um, yeah, then sometimes it does seem that way, even though that's not, that's not the truth of it, you know? And so you have to use your, your free will to, to reject that kind of stuff and to not allow that kind of stuff and to say, and to, and to be responsible enough to say hey like maybe I need to take a step back or maybe I don't want to do this um, quite this way or maybe I'm gonna wait for further instructions stuff like that otherwise um, they will prey upon that kind of stuff so yeah I hope I made myself clear there um, which 
I mean, again, eventually, like, with me constantly recording videos, yeah, I'll, I'll get more into that in a way that seems relevant. So I'll just trust that whatever information is enough. So I want to talk about my alien experience when I was a kid. I don't necessarily know what it was. And I just think it would be fun to share with you guys these two things because, you know, I don't know. So when I was, I don't know how old I was, I was under 10 years old. I was laying in bed and I shared a room with my sister. And I don't know why my mom was in my bed. She was laying beside me and I woke up and I was paralyzed and um, I was like looking around and looking around like my eyes could move but my body couldn't and I was like begging and begging and begging and begging to be able to move because I could hear this loud buzzing sound and it was coming from outside the house like it felt like <laughs> a UFO <laughs> like laughing my papers away it felt like a UFO and that's kind of the feeling that I was getting is like something really weird is happening and there's something that's going to come get me and it was getting louder and louder and louder and I finally was able to move my hand. I was like pushing my mom, pushing, pushing, pushing her and I'm trying to get her to wake up and she wouldn't wake up and I'm like, okay, what the heck is going on? And I heard this like, I, it wasn't a voice, but it was like a download like an, a mental download that was saying not to do that. Like, don't wake her up. Just stay still. And I listened. And I was so, like, at first I was, like, scared. But it, I don't know. Like, it, it was scared because I didn't know what it was. I hadn't experienced anything like that before. And I wasn't sure, like, in this lifetime. And I wasn't sure what it was, but I had this feeling that, again, it was like this download of like, this is you, like this is your truth or something, something weird like that. Like I, I really, honestly, I haven't ever talked about it since that, it, that experience. I only talked about it in the last video and I don't even remember what I said um, because I was just as like the way I am now. I was just kind of confused. Um... But it was just like, I don't know. I'm not telling the story very well because I'm just kind of like getting lost in my own mind. But anyway, um, it I don't know if that was like an alien experience or not or if it was just sleep paralysis because there was no demonic entity. And when you hear about sleep paralysis stories, then you always hear about the sleep paralysis demon, right? Which I, I will tell you guys. But what I was wondering since since I talked about it in the last video I'm like what was that like was that an alien or was that just like me connecting to the pure consciousness of everyone and it came across symbolically as alien you know as as what I've said about the grays I didn't see anything I didn't feel anything but what it feels like to me um the more that I've thought about it since that last recording um, which isn't often, honestly. I haven't really thought about it. I've just thought about what I'm going to tell you. Um, is I feel like a true invasion, like a true alien invasion um, of like a good alien, like kind aliens. I don't think that they would necessarily um, come into the physical Honestly, like I think that they would come across similar to how I had that experience. Not not to say that I had an alien experience, but the fact that like psychically, like we can connect, like human beings have the ability to connect, right, in a psychic way, um, in a mental way. And souls are able to do that, all our souls, because we're all collectively, there's a collective consciousness right here that can create. This can create, this has the ability to like physically create things into reality. Bad cannot, evil cannot. Um, the, it can only manipulate your thoughts and your free will in order for you to create something negative. 
and that's a creation of all the negativity of all the unhealed souls so as we elevate vibrationally as a whole as a collective then this eliminates itself you know the the evil can only be as evil as the unhealed souls and as we all heal together that takes care of itself and that weakens it because energetically speaking if you take something that's high vibrational and you connect it with something low vibrational the the faster that is the more powerful that is it's going to speed that up and by speeding that up it's eliminating it so yeah um i feel like aliens like the peaceful aliens and because the evil does the same thing um in a way like aliens i'm talking like psycho like real psychopathic aliens um not the collective consciousness but they would connect mentally first right because it's a lot easier for us to kind of cut through the different frequencies in order to get to each other and communicate to each other and that's something else oh no i already said that like are you connecting to aliens <laughs> But anyway, so I had a sleep paralysis demon experience when I was a teenager. Um, I was in college and I was asleep in my room and I woke up. I had a nightmare of this guy. I don't know. It was like an entity, I guess, but it was a guy. I didn't see his face. It was just a typical demon that everyone says in the sleep paralysis experience where it's like black hat or something he's like just like a figure and he was going after me and I kept evading him and when I I forced myself awake because I realized I was asleep so I was like oh my gosh I'm asleep I just wake up out of this nightmare and I forced myself awake and as I awoke I was frozen solid I was trying to will myself to move and I was like moving my eyes and I'm panicking and I could feel myself like I, it felt like like astral projecting so it was like I could I was out removed from my body spiritually and I could observe this demon or this guy going through my apartment and he's like going down the hallway he's opening up the door to my roommates he's looking for me and when he finally got to my room he was delighted when he saw me and as he made his way to me, suddenly a bag in my room fell and it was loud enough, like this external thing in my environment was loud enough to wake me up out of my dream. Um, I had gone to the store before I took a nap with one of my roommates and I put the bag on my chair and it just by chance before it got to me, it freaking fell. And I never forgot the experience because it was really traumatic. And I feel like that's why I still remember that alien, in quote, alien experience. Because it was equally traumatic but also confusing because it was obviously paralysis. And some to some degree, I was able to move eventually. But then I stopped myself, you know. So I don't know, like as a kid, how that operates. Like how different that is. But... I don't know, I thought I'd just share those two stories with you guys. Maybe you guys have similar experiences or, I don't know, it seemed relevant some, somehow. <laughs> and yeah, so I'm going to stop the video here. I have stuff about like karma um, and all that. But honestly, like karma is just, again, it's the same thing with like, it's a reaction, reaction. That's what it is. Um that supersedes the law of physics in this reality i mean it trickles down you know but anyway we can get into that in some other videos so i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in my next video bye